Hello everybody, how are you doing today? We got another vehicle in the promotion. John has sent us this car. Chris is coming. This is the Costa Car Trader. Hope you're gonna enjoy this video. We're promoting this car. It's a brand new car today. We've never had a brand new car. Chris is super excited about driving a brand new car. He's never done that. And um, I think he's coming now. Let's see what it is. See what happens. Get you all the info. So uh, if you're interested in this car, you know all about it before you buy it. Let's go. Big car, Chris. It is. How are you today, buddy? I'm good. How are you? Good, man. You told me there's a brand new car, yeah? This is a brand new car. Yes. Uh, so how okay. does that? Does it smell like a brand new car? Come and smell. Come on. Come and smell. <laughs> come on. Come <laughs> smell. Chris, you locked the door against carjackers. Yeah, I don't want anybody <laughs> to pinch this. <laughs> Let me smell come this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Smell. 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 I'm gonna live in this car for a week or so. Yeah. We, yes. we need to invent this smell, put it in a spray can, you know, you could put yeah, it into your yeah, arms. Yeah, and sell it. And sell it, we'll make a fortune, mate. Yeah, finally. Yeah, we'll be rich. <laughs> All right, so obviously it's a Citroën. You know what, this is a Berlingo, isn't it? It is a Berlingo. And you know what I'm seeing now? This used to be like works people cars, fans. Yeah. yeah. So these Berlingos, yeah, I remember my father-in-law when he was uh, a plumber, he used to use this car for work. Yeah. But now I'm looking, it's got seats, it's got all sorts, so is it now more of a people, ca peep, 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 people carrier? <laughs> or is it more a mix though, a mix of? Well, that's the beauty of this car, you can have it as you want. Hmm. It's, it's Can we do drag racing with this? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, can, you can have it as a, a people carrier. Can you? Or you can have it as a van. Yeah. There's options for it. You, you have it, as, it's like BK, you want it your way? Because now, uh, looking at it, it could be just a daily driver as a normal car. People use it as daily drivers. And obviously, you know, they used to have sliding doors. Yeah, sliding doors. They said, oh, look at this, Chris. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. Now, my children, they've got dogs. I do like that, Chris. So you can have the people in the car. Yeah. And the canines in the back. Yeah, and you can also put the mother-in-law in the back as well. <laughs> yeah. and, and she can't get to you, there's a cage in there. <laughs> but this cage is brilliant. It is. This one, that's for sale in Benny Goffer. Yeah. Johnny boy. Johnny, our mate John. And um, this has the rack. Yeah. If you have pets, uh, it's a blessing in disguise, isn't it, mate? Yeah, it's good to have a good rack. And sitting in the rear here now, I see all sorts of things I've never seen before. I mean, this has got like a motor home, you can always sleep here. There's a big compartment in the roof, isn't there? Yeah. Let's have a look at that. So you got all this space here. Th this has so many secret places to put things. I counted about 15, in the, just in the front. Just in the front, man. You got up here, you, you, got, you got this little area here, you got there. Is this like a mini cup holder? Only for espressos, yeah. Uh, I don't know. So is this car made for people that only drink espressos? No, because they have bigger cup holders ah, they got, down you there. Got, you Look. got cup holder yeah. choices. Yeah. I love that, man. You, you've got an area behind here, a little secret area. Wow. You've got a compartment here. No way. Yeah. No way. Yeah. you got the compartments in the doors. And you've also got two uh, glove compartments. So you got Oh, it one. is a brand new car, man. I mean, gee, oh, I love that. And then you've got this one up here as well. Yeah, look, with, with the extra, you know. Strap. Yeah. Uh, Strap-ons now, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you using your cock ring? On a daily basis, promised? Of course I am. <laughs> you know, you bought me as a gift, I gotta use it. Right, okay. Now this this is huge, man, this compartment. Does it have any extras? No, it's uh it's you know, it has all these compartments, but it, this this is uh, an MPV, but it's it's kind of like a cross yeah. between a van yeah, yeah. and a car. Yeah, and uh, oh there's your USB right there. Yeah, you've got USB. So we've got that, of course we've got that. Wow! Them up. So this is like a, an eight, eight inch display. And oh man, it's good. a six speed manual, isn't it? Yep, six speed manual. It's exciting. 
It doesn't have a digital display. It's, no. It's uh, old school. You got it both, yeah? You got the normal display. Yeah, and then you got the... And the big the screen. 18-inch screen. And look in Spain, 21 degrees today. Don't you love it? What is it today? The end of February. It's a leap year, actually. Don't forget that, Chris, yeah? Yeah. And if you remember on the C4, they had yeah. this little feature for the seatbelts. Yeah, we liked it, and it's the same system, so we're going to like this one as well. Yeah. Brilliant, man. It is pretty cool. Uh, this is uh, an XTR. It has uh, cruise control, or all, all the mod cons that you find in an ordinary car. Air conditioning and yep. everything, it's all digital, which is pretty cool. Well, I like, I like, easy to use, I like, yeah. these, these I like big uh, buttons. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I noticed when I took place in this car? The seats are so cool. Yeah, and I love these. I love this stuff. It's like you're sitting in an old Dodge fan with the captain seats, remember? Yeah, they should it's have one like on, this. But they, they should have one on either side though, so you could drive. Relaxed. Uh, so I love that, and I see secret buttons on this. Oh no, they, they are not no, that, buttons. That's, that's just like leather and. That's just for style. Beautiful man, styling. These French people know about style, yeah. Yeah. You think they're Italian? You know, the the, the Berlingo has never quite been a car that I've sought after, that I've wanted or anything. But there, there is a huge demand for this car. Yeah, I, I already want the car. Do you know they've been making this car since 1996, the Berlingo? 96 already? Wow, man, yeah. it's almost 30 years. They've been building it for a long time. Loads of people like it. It's very versatile. You can you can have it as a van, you can have it as a people carrier. It's multi-purpose. Multi-purpose, It's yeah. not all-terrain, but it's multi-purpose. Yeah, multi-purpose. But like looking in the boot again, mate. I mean, that's brilliant. That is really, really to be loved. Come and see the size, the size of the boot. Yeah, huge boot. Perfect if you've got dogs, cats, mother-in-laws. It's massive. Oh man, it's so big. Even got cup holders back here for the mother-in-law. What? Yeah. And this comes out obviously, yeah? This is like to cover your expensive belongings, I take it, Mr. Chris, yeah? And you can look, you can put it down here as well. Look, look, this all comes out. Yeah. Brilliant, mate. But if you put it down here, like that. You can keep it here like that. Wow, man! Clever people, yeah? Yeah. Who designs these things? French people. Ah, bonjour. Give me le croissant. Je m'appelle. Avec le revolver. Follamar. Je n'ai pas le sexe. Oui, oui. <laughs> yeah, it's got the Parktronic all around, of course. Same as probably the C4, like, got. All hey, sorts of fuels. Not only has it got cup holders, it's got PowerPoint back here as well. Yeah, it's got the PowerPoint in the back. That's brilliant, man. For yep. Grandma, if she is uh, out of battery with the phone. Yeah, you got to keep her entertained. Can we put a light in there if she wants to smoke the cigar? Oh, no, we can't be doing that nowadays. No, le cigar. No, no Grandma's got to quit. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously light for when it's night time. Got yeah. it all, man. Close it up. Okay. I like the lights on it. Yeah, wonderful, man. Wonderful. Nice. And I see on the side that they got some nice accents there. Yeah? yeah. These accents here, it's not just for show, they 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 have a purpose. They they got silicone inside them and they're to stop the protectors, yeah. Yeah, the protectors stop the car being damaged. And well, it's obvious why they designed that in in uh, France because have you ever been to France? Have you seen how they drive? Uh, I heard Spain is worse, but it's already very bad in France. Yeah, they're quite bad in France. <laughs> And this, this part here, if you order one of these brand new, you can actually choose what color you want. Ah, you can choose your own color, yeah. I yeah. could have electric blue if I like that. Yeah. Well, if they have electric blue, yeah, you have to choose from a, a list of colors. And then the roof rack, yeah, it's incorporated roof rack, it's always there. Yeah. You don't have to buy yeah. it extra, it's just there, yeah. Built in. You need it, man. You need a roof rack sometimes. Yeah. Come on. And it's got the double sliding door, this one, yeah, on both sides. Yeah. And I like it that once the door is jammed, it's blocked there, yeah. You can just get in and out. I know modern law goes in the back, but it's, it's still very safe uh, procedure, isn't it, mate? Yeah. And then you have to pull the lever, and bum, it's closed. Yeah. The, uh, it's great and everything, but a lot of the rivals for this, they have electric doors, and this ah, doesn't, it's manual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Citroën need to do a few better things yeah, to, to but, be electric. But they, they do break a lot, these electric doors, yeah? Remember the Peugeot 1007? Right. You press a button, the door opens, it's this little car, like... I remember them. Yeah. Nobody and, liked them. And, and the door, once it's broke, you sensors, wires, five French people have to be flown in from uh, Paris to <laughs> fix it. 
and uh, it's not good so i like it old school yeah can't break you're right you're right can't break it but they, these are these are very reliable cars they're famous for for having that good engines reliable i know i know my in-laws used to rent a seat from berlingo and it was quite an old one but they've been renting that for 12 years now and every year it's still driving and it's very very practical man it, it's a beautiful design on this they're following like the other cars like the c4 and the c3 they have they have the thin light at the top and then they have the main light down the bottom yeah a lot of chrome accents as well yeah yeah i love chrome it's i love chrome but i told you people wrapping it up nowadays with uh, matte black and they think they look better but yeah i like this it's kind of a special grill isn't it you don't see this very much no, with these kind of figures like it. in it mate I'm afraid to push it just in case the airbag goes off yeah <laughs> Spain, dusty, and the, the, you've got the coloured accents at the front there, just like on the side. Nice. A car you can use for anything. You can yeah. use it to go to work. You can bring the kids to school. You can pick up your secret girlfriends. And the mother-in-law is always going to be happy in it. And, but a, she's and not the driver to smoke a cigar, no. And the driver is going to be even happier because she she could be locked away in the back. Could be locked away. They should make a, a thing that you can't hear. Her. But um, yeah. the seat's super comfortable, probably one of the most comfortable seats from every car we've tested so far and um, you know, black cars are great, white cars, black cars, I love them, red cars sometimes for certain models. So yeah, if you, if you speak to our man John, they're willing to do a, a good deal on this, if you say cost a car trader, they're willing to give a full tank of fuel, nice luxury car mats and also you're going to get the, the transfer included as well. And you may even get a few other goodies as well. <laughs> yeah. So uh, sounds like a great deal to me, man. It is a good deal, as long as you say C C T and speak to our man John. All right, let's take this for a test drive. Take it for a test drive, and um, let's do it. Right, so we're taking the car now on a test drive. Uh, see what it actually is. So far, so good. The seat's super comfortable. The aircon is ice cold. It's a new car. We didn't expect anything else. But it's the first thing you notice, it's very, very spacious, isn't it? It is. It's, you've got so much headroom above you and you just feel like you're in a giant vehicle. It's nice. Refreshing. And then you've got these compartments up there. It's a lovely day, by the way, today, which is always nice. And Chris is driving it. Ah, you got digital kilometers yeah, yeah, and yeah. analog kilometers, yeah? Yeah, you can choose which one you want to look at. They got so much space, they give you both options. Nice. So much going on on the steering wheel as well, homie. Yeah, look at that. You, you've got voice control, you've got the telephone, oh, you can activate voice the radio. Control. Can you talk to the car? Yeah. Control. yeah. I love talking to cars. And they actually do what you say. <laughs> yeah, well, right, so it's a six speed. Um, it's very how, how is that? Is it smooth? Is it hard? Is it tough to do? What, what, do you, what is your opinion, Chris? Well, it's. The ride is smooth, super smooth. Yeah. And you wouldn't expect that from a like a, a sort of MPV. But it, I'm, I'm impressed how nice this is to drive. It's super easy to drive. The gears they, they, they go nice. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's very comfy. The suspension. I mean, of course, Citroen is known for having great suspension. But this is another notch in their book, isn't it? It's it's good. It's great. Yeah, because you get a lot of bumps in Spain, honestly, you know, I mean, it's nice to own a sports car, uh, a stiff car, but you're always going to encounter roads with these dirty, ugly bump, bumps in it, you know what I mean? We'll take out the motorway now, see what Okay, nice, nice. You look out the window and there's just so much space there, you can see everything. Yeah. Then they did a good job. Yeah, it is a, it is a, a nice car. And I love the sound of the indicator. Listen. Tick, tick, tick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Citroen has one of the nicest sounding indicators. Yeah, it, you know, it's, it's totally what you're into, but if you're into that, it does sound great, Chris. <laughs> 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 no, some people like smells. This smells like a new car, and I'm into ah, that. No, it's and you like special sounds by the sounds of it. Yeah, I, I like uh, nice sounding indicators. It's <sighs> like relaxing on the ears. So, what are we now? Is six gear? Uh, yeah, we're in six gear. We're in we six to, gear, people. I think we need to go down. Back to five. Hey, have you noticed? Even though this is a diesel, you you don't hear it. It's, it's like 
Some diesels like cha 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 but this thing it's just super quiet. You don't it's hear it. It's super quiet, man. You wouldn't think it's a diesel. But and do you know what it is? Is it a two liter or 1.6? It's a 1.6. Wow, that's gonna be economic, mate. Yeah. You can actually get the Berlingo in uh, electric. 1.2 petrol turbo, just like the C4 we had, and then there's this one which is a 1.6 diesel. Yeah. So whatever your preference. Yeah, they're making these electric cars in some big cities. They're telling um, employers or self-employed people that they can only drive electric cars since yeah. starting 2025. You know, so people are scared. People are going bankrupt. Yeah. Now this is the diesel. I think in Spain it's still allowed. Uh, because they're, you know, they're, they're hard on these diesel. The um, noble, uh, democratically elected leaders, our leaders, yeah, they want a better planet. Do, do you know what the funny thing is? That our leaders say, "Oh, you got to go electric. You got to go electric." But then, what do they drive? Gas guzzling, guzzling Range Rovers. Yeah. Limousines. Yeah. Uh, private jets. Private jets. You yeah. Ne you never see a politician in an electric car. Parties with extra meat, and we're not allowed to eat meat more than twice a week. <laughs> You're allowed your meatball on the Wednesday. It's a true story. <laughs> and um, now I saw Ursula, you know, the big boss, the, the end boss, oh, the yeah. overlord, the female overlord. <laughs> I think she's got an Audi V8 or something, you know. Really? It's really, really crazy. And then telling us, go drive an electric car. Yeah. And if you have a company, if you have a company with more than five employees, what they're gonna do, you're gonna have to take note from all your employees, where they're driving, how they're driving, what they're driving, because we need to know their CO2 footprint. Yeah. And that's what that's what's gonna happen, that's where we're going. Now this modern diesel has almost no emissions and um, it won't destroy the environment. No. Will it, Chris? No, and, and actually the fuel tank on this, you, you've got the, the nozzle to put the diesel and it's got a separate nozzle to put that uh, added blue in. Which makes... Is it added blue or add blue? Or you or have to add add blue? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is confusing. <laughs> oh my god, mate. Yeah, it's confusing. I'm not from England, you know. It's the Dutch people. Uh, a Citroën is a lemon. So when you say in Holland, I'm eating a Citroën in my Citroën. It's super confusing. Right. Well, yeah, anyway, we cut this out. <laughs> <laughs> or, will, or will we? All right then, mate. So sorry. Tell me again uh, about this at blue stuff. That is to make it uh, a better place, the world a better place. Yeah, it's to make it a better place. Nice. It's, it's supposed to make the the diesel cleaner, so it doesn't produce as much pollution. Yeah. You know they're, they're always doing these things to improve diesel, improve diesel, and I, and I think that's a better way to go than than all this electric stuff. Yeah, My there's been there's been opinion. a couple of letdowns with the electric stuff. There was a snowstorm in America and people couldn't start the car anymore or uh, when it gets that cold the the, 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 the miles go down on it yeah. on the electric uh, vehicles. But anyway, let's not uh, get too uh, depressed or negative about the electric cars. We always, have, we always end up talking about electric cars. Yeah, well, <laughs> we always talk about electric cars. They must mean something to us. Yeah. Um, I'm sure you will maybe Give us an electric car at one stage, yeah. and then we can give a proper review on it. I mean, we might love it. We might. You know. I think it's like Marmite. You either love it or you hate it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Um, yeah, no, I've seen this ad blue in the petrol stations, and uh, now I know the reason. Thank you, Chris. That it's uh, to make the planet a better place. Yes. Because we all need to do our bit. Yeah. This car would be really good for long distance traveling. You've got so much storage. You, you know, just put cups and drinks and everything everywhere. I, I think it'd be, this is a good uh, long distance yeah, vehicle. Yeah, a road trip car. When, when uh, me and my wife, we went to Gran Canaria. Did you go holiday. to Gran Canaria, yeah, mate? This is quite a few years ago yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. We hired a vehicle and they gave us a Berlingo. And I, I wasn't that happy about it but actually it wasn't a bad car super practical man and it was really good because we managed to get so many suitcases in the back that's it. it that's so what I told you my in-laws they rented Bilingo for 12 years already and uh, the car never let them down okay we, we lost the wheel cap one day with the car you know but it can happen yeah nowadays they don't have they have proper alloys you know they're making it better and better and better and uh, and these cars are not even that expensive you know to buy you get a lot 
let me repeat, you get a lot, a lot of car for the money. Yeah, you do. Chris, I'm, yeah. I'm telling the truth here or not? Yeah. Oh man, this is so much car for the money. Okay, quick question for you. Wow. Shoot me, buddy. We we done a video on the C4. Um, hey, look, it's a Berlingo! <laughs> and it's a works fan. Yeah. Now, people can see we're speaking the truth here. Yeah, yeah. There are works fan. Look, look, no rear, no rear windows. That's the Berlingo from the other generation. People already loved them back then. And you see so many still driving around, Chris, don't you? Yeah, they're, they're proper workhorses. We're in a Berlingo. There's a Berlingo. That one's white. Ours is black. I love both colors. But look, that's a CIX. I don't know. That's a really old car, but look. It's not smoking, it's driving great, and that guy does miles every day, I, I can promise you that. I don't know the guy, don't know this guy, but I can tell you he's driving every day, all day long in that Berlingo, and yep. it makes him happy. Yeah. Okay, what was your task, or your question, or what's happening? Okay, back to the question. We, we test driven the C4, and we test driven the Berlingo. Which would you choose? To be totally honest, I mean, I love the C4 with all the displays and the digital stuff, and, and I don't know what else. Had a lot of stuff going on, didn't it? Yeah. I like this better. Really? Yeah, I really like this car. I really, really like this car, uh, as weird as it sounds, because it gives you so much that you don't expect. Yeah. It drives like a normal car, but as you've seen the guy there, he takes it to work, and you can have your hammer with you, you can have your spanner. You got some good spanners in the house, Chris, don't you? Oh, I got some, some <laughs> special spanners. <laughs> That's for another video. Yeah. Um, I love this car. Arriving nicely here, yeah. And I don't need to get out, Chris, to show you where to drive because you got all the sensors and the cameras and everything going on. And you can never scratch or damage <laughs> never say this never. car. <laughs> never say never. <laughs> don't jinx me. <laughs> Brand new cars now done 25 kilometers. Come and grab yourself a bargain, grab yourself a great deal. This car will probably last you so many years, it's gonna outlive you. Call John, do that. All right, before we finish up inside, just want, just want to show you, this has 360 reversing camera. Watch that. Wow. Oops, here we go, yeah. And we got the drone shot again. Yeah. Beautiful, man, I love that. And I think I don't just love it, I need it. Bonjour. Hello. <laughs> What's your final thought on this car? It's quite nice back here. We got the shade. We can have picnics here, yeah. you know, bottle of wine, yep. baguette. I got a safe feeling nobody can attack us from you know, from inside the cabin. Keeps the kids that side, separation. It's and perfect. like the rest of the car, super spacious. Yeah, I know, look at it. And you know, we could, we got places to put our coffee here. Cup holders, Yeah. got lights. And there was a, a power point somewhere? Yep, yeah, just by here as well. Can you light my cigarette? If you want me to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get out, man. Enough with the fun now. So there we have it, Pete. Berlingo, nice name. Thanks John for this brand new car and that you've got this great faith in Chris and uh, that he actually, you know, he makes it work, he does a good job. Let's, uh, let's tell everybody two things we like and one thing we don't about this car. And do you wanna start off? Okay man, well the first thing that I really like about this car is, if you can check with me here, it's got sliding doors. And normally as we all know in sliding doors the windows don't open. Yeah. In this particular Berlingo, in this car, you got the electric windows and they're going up and down. In the past, the Berlingo used to have windows, either they didn't open or they just opened, you know, the, the little opening like that. Yeah. So if you have a dog in the back, it can just breathe, but it's not, it's not, it's not good. Now, they're going up and down, which for a door with, uh, <laughs> for a door, <laughs> for a sliding door, <laughs> for a car with sliding doors, it's, it's quite unique. Yeah, and you can control them at the front as well. You can control everything. So yeah. you can open and close them from the driver's seat. Can we control cool. mum-in-law from the front? Oh, there's no control in mum-in-law. Is that just a whole no, separate mum thing? Mum-in-law yeah. is just like <laughs> out of it. <laughs> Straight away to the second thing while we're standing here. Okay, Christopher, go you go and sit in here. And by the way, I don't know now if it's the favorite thing that the seats are so comfortable 
Oh, did you get these kind of perks? We love cup holders. Oh, yeah. We like to drink coffee yeah. and all sorts of stuff. That is kind of uh, cool. This is really cool. Yeah. So those are the two things I like. Uh, yeah, what do I not like about this car? I mean, what's not to like? I got to think about that one, Chris. Okay. Have I'll you got something to say about the car first? Okay, I'll fire, fire away with mine. Okay, the first thing I like about it, how big and spacious it is. How big and spacious it is. Sitting in here is great. You've got so much room around you. You've got so many places to put things. If you're using this for for your job as a plumber or a builder or something like that, oh, you, you've got secret compartments for any sort of Pool cleaners? Tool. Pool cleaners as well, yeah. Pool cleaners as well. Yeah, it's perfect. Uh, and then you can convert it to be a daily driver for the family afterwards. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So that's uh, one of the things I like about it. Even uh, if I was a single person, I'd still buy this car probably, you know. It's like, it's for everybody. You don't know, you might get a family later. Been speaking with Chris and he's okay with this. After a long conversation, we had to cut the video and all sorts. It's now 30 minutes later. I can't find anything that I don't like about this Berlingo, believe it or not. But I found another thing that I really, really like. I'm going to show you now. So Chris, what about this? You know, many cars you can put the seats forward, but look at this one in the Berlingo, mate. I mean, how's about that shit, man? Yeah. And then if you take this panel out, it's like a van. Then it's like a van. Yeah. yeah. Cause obviously you can take all the seat out and all the way and all that. They all got seat belts, but this is, this is brilliant, man. Yeah. So there's three things that I love about this car and that's actually the first time ever, isn't it? Yeah. So, Good car, special car, it's a great deal. I mean, this is one of the cheapest cars in this category you can buy, you know, compared to, you know, other cars, German cars, Korean cars. Okay, well, let, let's uh, crack on with my list then. Yeah. So the second thing I like about this car, uh, how much kit you get with it, you know, it's- Are you getting kits with the car? Does John know about this? <laughs> He will when the customers start going there, say, hey, where's my kit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, kits, like, as in a kit, yeah. like the Night the Rider kit. The equipment, the equipment <laughs> then. Okay, the second thing is the amount of equipment you get with this, because it's like a sort of van, isn't it? It's an MPV, but yeah, you get your reversing camera. This one uh, has got cruise control. It's got voice activation for the stereo and the air con and everything. Control. You get so much gear with this stuff. It's, yeah. it's, it's really good. It's all but but you know what is really, really, I like about this? I'll show you now. The we'll passenger do, before? We'll do the test now. Huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, okay, man. Show me. All right, close the door. So easy. With many cars, it don't have this feature anymore, but this one does. So as you can see, the window's open, and if you hold the button. Wow, you need that. Everybody yeah. needs this. Yeah. So that's also on this car, yeah? That's also on this car, yeah. Born as a works fan, and it's now an XTR. It almost sounds like extra. Extra. You get yeah. all these extras, what you mentioned. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I love the name as well, extra. There's four things that I like about this car, Chris. How about that? Yeah. It's a new record, man. It is. Right, I wonder what John is gonna come up with next time. It's record breaking. Yeah, there's four things that I like. And uh, it's gonna be hard to beat this car, to be totally honest. Yeah. Get yourself a deal, go to Benny Gover, mention CCT or... Costa Car Trader. That one. Yeah. And, and speak to Johnny or speak to Elsa. Yeah, John wants to speak to you. That's a fact. He wants to speak to you. And it's going to be the best conversation and the best deal you've ever, ever done. Yeah. Good luck all. So, that's a wrap. That's a wrap, mate. All right. Yeah. Okay, this is a little bit which we discovered afterwards during our filming, which I'm going to show you now, that the window part, it actually opens separately from the tailgate. It's a little secret button down by here. You push it. Oh, look at that. Is that cool or what? <laughs> <laughs> so if you've got dogs in there, you don't have to open the whole thing. You could just give them a little pet.